It's terrible, but it's, what they're doing is... Oh, terrible. my God. So, yeah, talk about it. last talk year, about it. Um, a game was announced. Uh, it was through the um, D- Nintendo Direct, and I was excited about it because it's called Chocobo GP, which is kind of like a sequel series of the Chocobo racing game that originally came out on the PS1. Was it a family series? Loved it. It was very cute. It's pretty much Mario Kart, but with Final Fantasy characters and Chocobo. Yeah, like the yeah. cute Final Fantasy yeah. characters and all that. Yeah. It was awesome. Loved that idea. The game was recently released, and man, I am so disappointed with it. So, let's start off. It's like they copied EA. Yeah, I'm not happy with this. So, first of all, it's a $50 game. Yes, $50 game, which okay. normally I wouldn't have an issue with it. F- games cost $50, $60, that's the price no, they of They cost games. $60 to $70. Yeah, so $50, perfect. No complaints on that. What they did with this, what I'm having a complaint about. So, mm-hmm. this game has two different kind of like things you can earn. Gil, which is the typical money in Final Fantasy games, which you earn by, you know, racing and all that. You earn Gil and you can use Gil to buy like different kind of tracks, costumes, yeah. and other things, like characters and stuff. They also have another thing called Mithril, which is another Final Fantasy staple. Mithril or Mithrum? I thought uh, no Mithril. Mithril. So you clarify. So Mithril. Those is what you have to use cash money for. And that's like the first red flag. You're like, oh god. Here we go. So Here we go. Originally, the packs were, you get a 1,000 Mithril for $10. Currently, they have a sale going on because the game just released that you could get 1,600 Mithril for $8. You know, a little special sale to get you into buying all the stuff. And the way that they advertise it, they make it all cute, like the little chocobo and the little like white mage is like right there, like, yay, we're happy because all these little cute, cute little mithril's, buy them. Yeah, you'll want them too. You call this is for going to kids because you know marketing. Like marketing, you know, has to be like cute and stuff. So, you know, kids are like, I want this daddy, I yeah, want this mommy, yeah, you know, I guess things like that. Twice, you know exactly, I mean? you know, things like that. So I was just like that's already scummy in the first place. Yeah. Now, they have a thing. It's all season passes, which games have, you know, season passes to get, like, different things. You could either pay or you grind. Exactly. Now, in this one, the season mm-hmm. passes, you need Mithril, which you cannot grind in the game. You only could grind Gil. So the you only cannot grind- way to get a season pass is you're spending money. Exactly. Now, what they did for the first season is if you log in between, like, you know, the first season, which if you buy the game and you log in, you automatically get 800 Mythol, which is, of course, the exact cost of of the season season pass. So, season two, three, let's be real, you're going to be paying for that, most likely. Unless if we, as a community, gaming community, (laughs) and TikTok family, go and rave and rant about how a lot of people are so pissed is, about especially on Twitter. Twitter that. is very, 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 very great to spit on opinions and tag them, making notes for you. And then, so pretty much the first season pass, you're able to unlock Cloud and Squall from Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. Fantastic. So fantastic characters. Now, once you unlock those characters, you're not able to use them until you reach a certain level. And what level is that, Outlandish? To get Cloud, level 60. So you get the character, but you can't play the character until level 60. That's already misleading. So Don't pretty worry. much, um, I've been like, you know, seeing reviews and people playing it. Like People are putting like many hours into this game, and they're not moving a lot on the level. So it's like seems like it's one of those like you know battlefield things. Like you have to grind, 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 grind until you could get to the point where you're able to play the character. Now, or, of course, you could just pay for it. That's what I'm saying. But, so, could you pay your way to level 60? You can. Really? How much is that? Uh, I believe it's like... No, 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 you can't pay. You, you only can pay for, like, Mithril and stuff like that. So you pay, but... So levels don't have a set amount of uh, Mithril to no. pay. So, regardless, you have to grind exactly. to level 60. Exactly. Okay. So it's like they're focusing on that, and it's like I hate when games do this so much. Especially at first, the way they were advertising it, it did not seem that was going to happen. Another <laughs> another game that this happened yeah, with, but you're missing one important part. Oh, I really yeah. pissed you off, but you didn't say it. what happens to the Mithril that is not a. Oh story? yeah, if you let's say you sign in for the the one for the 800, if you don't use that within four months, you lose it. For good. Now, is that just what's given or we're talking in the future? You pay 
if you pay it, for it, it won't go away. It won't go away. But if you are given it, it goes away. So the only way that it's given now is just when you get the game. Exactly. And they put an expiration date. Exactly. Exactly. They should have just given you a season pass in the first place. They, they, I don't know why they do it this way. It's so weird that they do it this way. And another game that they did this with, which, oh my god, pissed off the community so bad, was the remaster of Crash Bandicoot, the Crash Cart, the one okay. that came out for the PS4. Yeah. Originally, it was sold as it was just going to be the full Crash game that you get to play, that oh, was like just remade and all that. Oh, hell yeah. Then, months later, oh, literally yeah. months later, they started adding microtransactions, oh. so you'd be able to buy characters, carts, levels, and the only way you could get that is you could grind, but of course it takes forever to grind, or you could buy that, the special thing and be able to get the characters by spending real money. And, um, and oh my god, as soon as that happened, of course they did it like literally like a month after the game was released, so they got all the people to buy the game first, and then they did Gee, that. That's it's so, so scummy. scummy. At least they did it right away. But what the class oh, did was dude, so, so they, scummy. That's, yo, that's not... Oh, uh, and I didn't even know about so, that. And I, oh, I'm yeah. the type to look through the oh, news yeah. and I see like the bet, like the severe. Yeah, this crash. happened. Uh, I think it was like two years ago, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. It oh, was so God. bad. I was like, oh my. So God. this is like two years, and this is another another way and, of doing and it. And the thing is, with this game, the way that they're, they're handling everything, it's very similar to Mario Kart Tour, which is a free, free. Nintendo app, free, free on the free. iPhone, which That's is already iPhone. free. Amazing, because it's a Nintendo product on the iPhone, and it's free. Yep. And they're doing that to a fifty dollar game. That's what pisses me off the most. If this was a free to play, I would I would be like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, if it's free to play, whatever. This wouldn't even be a topic now. This wouldn't even be a topic. But you're pay I'm paying fifty dollars for a game, and then you're gonna to have me grind and do all this stuff, like stuff you do in a free to play game. Yep. And you're going to do this? That's exactly what they're gonna have. Was gonna I happen hate Battlefield. That. I Battlefield. hate that. Well, uh, weren't they going to think about putting it to free to play? Yeah, so yeah, that the that we paid about, seventy yeah. bucks for is going to end up being free to play. Oh, that's nah, going to that piss you. That's going to make me mad because now you're treating the game that's actually very awesome like a shitty, t a shitty game. Like, it, yeah, whatever. Yeah, things like it's that. A great game. And then if they change it to free to play, I want my money back. Seventy dollars. I yeah. want my money back. That doesn't mean a full year they're already talking about free right? to, making it free to play. Which hurts because it just puts the <laughs> puts the bad marketing games well, that game ain't shit. But it is. But they're like, well, it's gotta make money. We see Call of Duty what they're doing, so we gotta do what they gotta do. It's, and, and it just dilutes. Yeah, Vanguard didn't do that well. No. Warframe. Oh, was it Warframe? What's the name of that game? The um, the, 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 the Call of Duty, the 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 free to play Call of Duty game. What's it called? Warzone. Warzone, that's it. Yeah, it's the, it, that's yeah. the only thing that's that keeping the game alive. Good. That was actually doing no, good. No, it's still doing good. It's yeah, still be, it's The replay value yeah. was there. The replay value well, was Vanguard there. Well, Vanguard didn't do well. I know that. No, I'm starting to hear shit about Vanguard. Yeah, and who knows what's happening. And then when I go to my friends list, I go check and see who, who you know, what's hot, who's, what's everybody playing. They're playing Warzone. They're not even playing Vanguard. <laughs> Which is terrible. Not not just the fact that so, it's, you so know So if that's going to happen with Battlefield, we'll see. That's crazy. But yeah, that just pissed yeah, me off. Yeah, the on. image that you guys see now currently is the metaphor of how companies are leading up to getting all that dough, all that money, based on microtransactions and coursing those to pay 50 bucks for a free-to-play type of game. I hate that. That is terrible. So you thought much. Ethel Ball was bad? This is kind of shady. Yeah. That's not good. Not good. Yeah, it's like you're supposed good. to do like... I don't it's, know. It just pisses me off. That could be another uh, post video. <laughs> That's to just... Take out that passion. <laughs> You'll grind my gears. Maybe that could be like another future one. That's like what?